Your jumper is black. Your eyes are brown. Your jumper is black. Your eyes are brown. Your jumper is black. Your Simon. Uh, just, I, just, 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 just repeating. I, your eyes are brown. Your jumper is black. So I went back to basics and did a deep dive on what method acting or the method actually is and where it comes from. Turns out there isn't just one method. There's a bunch of techniques from different practitioners. For example, Darius and I were just testing out Meisner's repetition exercise. Two actors repeat a simple objective phrase to each other, which gets them out of their head by only responding to the behavior and intent of the other actor. Although I will say, my eyes are definitely more of a hazel color. It's a small detail, but ugh, couldn't get it out of my head the whole time. I really think I need to move out. I thought moving from a share house to a, a single roommate would be uh, simpler, but no, I really think I'm, I'm better off living alone, you know? Method number two, the animal technique. It's where you study an animal that's similar in nature to your character, thereby informing your physicality and behavior. The animal I have chosen for my character, Marshal John Willard, is a barracuda, a ferocious fish that's a threat to anyone around it, just like my character, whose job it is to carry out executions. Lisa, could you also please Google what noise a barracuda makes? Method number three, the Suzuki method. This begins with shakuhachi, which is intense rhythmic stomping to get you grounded and focused. As you stomp, you pull energy from the earth through the wooden floor. We've got a rug, but I'm sure it'll do the same thing. So, slight injury during the old Suzuki stomp there. They uh, did say it can take years to develop a good stomp and learning it off a five minute Japanese YouTube clip may have been a bit ambitious, but uh, hey, it should still be fine for opening night in a few days. Hey Jarius, do we have any other frozen things? Not vibing these mangoes. Hello, Whitney speaking. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, 100% yes. Th oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll see you then. Okay. Thank you so much. I, I... This sure does sound exciting. Second round, what's the callback for? Married at first sight. The, the dating show? Yeah, yeah, but like, I don't even know if I'm going to get it yet. Wait, hey, wh why? Sorry, why would you want to be on Married at First Sight? Um, maybe because it's the most watched show in Australia. It is? Well, aren't you a little young to want to find a husband? Yeah, but like, it's an amazing yeah. opportunity to get my face out there and like, have a crazy experience. Yeah, and maybe if I stay on the show long enough, I'll get like, a radio gig or... <gasps> Oh my god, I can so go to the Logie's red carpet. <laughs> Hang on, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. No, but I could totally see you on radio though. You have such good banter. I know, and I already have like my 20,000 Insta fans. So like, I'm pretty sure Channel 10 know that I have a following yeah. and like, I'm obviously watchable. I have a following? What, what do you mean? Simon. Oh my god, I feel like I'm talking to my dad. <laughs> I'm an influencer. I, uh, okay, I what's that? I influence... People give me money to post about their brands on Instagram or like they give me free clothes if I make a video. Okay. I'm basically like a personality. Uh -huh. It's probably the only method to get into the business yeah. these days. Yeah, well, okay, well what about this method? What about the crucible? Don't you want to be an actor? Like isn't, won't this help you with your, your following? Yeah, I'm just uh, doing this show for a bit of fun and like to say I have theater experience. No hmm. one's gonna actually care about this show. Okay, well that's not true. Simon. Hang on. My latest Instagram story has 1,289 views. That's more tickets than we can possibly sell for this entire run of the show. 
it's just basic maths. Like, unless you have a huge social media presence, why would anyone give a shit? Kate. Simon, what are you doing out here? I, I was... Look, we should... You should get back Kate, inside. is anyone going to see the show? What? Yes. Yeah, plenty of people have already booked. What? I, I, I know, I just... But is anyone going to actually care about this? <laughs> well, I should hope so, Simon. I mean, we've all spent enough friggin' time on it. Why are you asking me this? I just... What can a Bachelor of Film Studies actually do? You know, I... It's like, what difference does it make to a casting director if I've appeared in The Crucible or The Tempest at uni? It's like, my whole life, I knew I wanted to be an actor, but it's really just dawned on me. I, I don't have any connections. I don't have an agent. I don't even have an Instagram. You know, I'm making this documentary because I want to show people of the importance of actors and technique over reality stars and whatever the fuck an influencer is, but I, now I just... I, I just don't think anyone's going to care. I just, I really feel like there's no space for me, you know? Oh, come on, Simon. That is such bullshit. Um, no, excuse me, what? God. Kate! You know what? I, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you've just realised that people care more about The Bachelor than they do about Ian McKellen. I know that's difficult for you to absorb, but I don't even think that's what's really okay, bothering you. Okay, what is it then? I think this is about you, Simon. I think you're a young white guy who wants to be taken seriously as a serious actor, but you've also been told that we don't need that same generic guy anymore, and you're completely terrified. What are you talking about? Well, you've grown up watching films like Star Wars and Indiana Jones and, and thinking that one day you could play that unlikely hero, what the strong man who saves the world. Why wouldn't you want to be an actor? <sighs> and now suddenly James Bond is a woman and you all lose your freaking mind. It's the same reason that you and the other guys got shitty at me when you realised that my edit of The Crucible was designed to highlight the female voice. Which, <sighs> by the way, I told you all in the audition. Okay. And suddenly there's no room for men in the arts. Isn't there? Oh God, but guess what? <laughs> You're all still here. And there's always going to be attention paid to mediocre work by men. Kate, Kate, I'm going through hell for the show and to call me mediocre. Oh, oh my God, you always I take just... this as an attack on you. I'm so sick of this hyper-masculine need to prove to others that you suffer for your art. That you're so devoted that you would risk your actual well-being. Okay, it's more than that, all right? Oh, it's a it's lot really more than that. God, it's the yeah. same bullshit as Jared Leto sending dead pigs and used condoms to his castmates. <sighs> oh, oh, oh no, I don't prance around on a stage. No, 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 my preparation takes guts and sacrifice. A woman would never work again trying that stuff because we just got to be grateful to be there. And by the way, you're not entering a burning building, okay? You're wearing makeup on a stage and standing where I tell you to stand. Kate, I'm, I'm sorry, I just... No, it's, I, it's, no, I... I didn't know... Look, I've, I've... I've just projected a lot of my own stuff at you. I... I understand why you're scared. Because I'm scared too. You know, I've got three assessors coming to see this show that will determine whether I get into my directing course or not. Meanwhile, I haven't had a single reply from the 50 industry people who have invited to come and see it. I'm just terrified it's not going to be enough. So before you despair about your place in this culture, I want you to know that it's a struggle for everyone. And it's only going to get marginally better during my lifetime. Hopefully. Well, we should we should get back inside. Yeah. You know, <laughs> people people still want to spend twenty dollars to see untrained art students awkwardly speak the words of Arthur Miller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nothing may come of this show. You're right. I. But this Salem witch trials aren't going to resolve themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on then. Okay. 
Uh, are, you, sorry, are you okay? I, I think I'm blacking out, but I can still... You, oh, God, no! What? Uh, Simon, are you okay? Uh, uh, just help me. Uh, can you... What are you doing? Give me a...